Bomb threat and evacuation at a southern Indiana casino turned out to be just a test, but the casino and emergency crews did not know about it. It led to two men being placed in handcuffs. Annalisa Gale is taking a look at how much the mistake will cost that county. Annalisa? Vicki, Harrison County Sheriff says it was a mistake that took at least four hours of their time and will cost the agency close to $1,400. It's a place known for gambling and fun. It's also where on Thursday, July 10th, up to 40 officers were led to believe that they were dealing with a real bomb threat at Horseshoe Casino in Harrison County. It led to the evacuation of roughly 100 guests and dozens of rooms. We also put in place uh, notified fire and EMS and had several uh, fire trucks and EMS personnel on standby. Louisville Metro Police's K-9 was also called in to assist. So you all were not aware that this was a test? Absolutely not. In a statement, Horseshoe Casino's general manager, John Smith, says we did not learn until the following day that the threat was a test conducted by our third-party vendor, which had failed to notify Horseshoe Southern Indiana or our corporate call center that the threat was a test, end quote. I guess that would be good practice for them, but that sure takes up a lot of time. But of course, we were frustrated when we found out that it was in fact a, a drill. Safety is the number one thing of all the residents and the people down there. According to Harrison County Police Department's case report, they traced the call back to Horseshoe Casino's office in the Philippines. Emergency responders were on the scene for about four hours. The drill cost the county's police department more than 60 man hours. The sheriff says two men were also detained and questioned for hours. How do you prevent something like this from ever happening again? I don't think that you're ever going to prevent uh, false alarms from happening. Horseshoe went on to say we are surprised and disappointed as anyone that this occurred, but are very proud at the way the matter was handled. We are vigorously investigating the facts surrounding this occurrence and are reviewing our options with respect to the vendor who initiated this without notification. Now the sheriff says it is now up to the county commissioner to figure out who will foot the bill. We reached out to the county commissioner and we did not get a response. I'm WOI's Annalisa Gale.